Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Bay, and this is Budget with Bay. today you guys as you can see i got a spread y'all i got a spread you guys i'm changing out some of my um binders and i'm adding a couple of new binders to my collection so i have been collecting these since like the end of august a lot of these i saved up for as my birthday gift a lot of these that i found on like different facebook groups so they might already be opened and stuff like that so i just want to go over a few things with you guys and we can get into setting up my new cash binders so i have some goodies that i got off etsy I have some envelopes. I have this cute um, A6 binder that I already had that says sinking fund. And I was like, why not use this? Because it already says sinking fund. And I want to explain why I'm going to be adding about three more binders to my like sinking fund cash stuffing collection. Okay. So yes, I also got some more stuff from Etsy move that over to the side if you guys did uh watch my happy mail video i believe it's like two or three videos ago it's my first video of october i bought this for my birthday this is my uh louis vuitton gm agenda yes real real <laughs> i saved up for this this is something that i really 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 wanted and i got an authentic gm louis vuitton agenda and i was like telling you guys how you can tell it's real by like louis has all the things that line up the lv for the gm agenda is right here it's stamped and it's coded all that good stuff but what i realized is i'm not going to use this as because this is like an a5 i'm not going to use this as a savings binder i'm actually going to use this as a planner so i'm in the process of collecting everything to turn this into a planner so i just wanted to um show you guys that and i will get this out of the way and so first um first we're going to go over my binders which binders i'm switching out and how i'm going to be adding this stuff okay so let's get into it okay so these are the four binders that i have these are the only four binders i have the only four binders that i use side note i don't want anyone to get like a certain idea because of the items that I chose to make my binders out of. You can make binders out of whatever it is that you want. If you guys have been following me and watching my videos, you guys do know I turned 30 and then I just wanted to purchase some things for myself. But baby, let me tell you, I love my binders. I love them. I love them. I love them. But what I'm doing in life and where I'm going, I'm just changing up a few things, okay? I'm, I'm just changing up. As you can see, we even have a different, you know, type of like background and stuff but i have a bill binder that i have like my bill envelopes and i actually have some money that i need to add to um that i need to unstuff and add to my month ahead because i did pay my bills and this is the cash that's left over but i have a bill binder and then this was my everyday binders. You can see I have my cards right here. I have like my envelopes. I also have a ton of receipts that I need to scan. If you guys don't know about Fetch Rewards, Fetch Rewards is an app where you can actually scan your receipts and you can get cash back. You can get gift cards to like Amazon. You can get gift cards to food places and all type of things. So I will go ahead and add my code on the screen because when you sign up with my code and you scan your first receipt, you actually get 2000 points as well. And then I have like just some miscellaneous envelopes. The two binders that I'm not switching out, I am not switching out my sinking funds and my saving challenges binder. I put too much work into setting these two up, so I'm not changing them. And I love them. I love them entirely too much. And plus the A5 binder is essentially 
um, the best binder when you're trying to save and stuff a lot of cash. So, you know, this is my sinking funds. If you guys haven't seen my video of me setting these up, this is my sinking fund. Like I got dashboards, I got dividers. Like I went all out for these. These two are my absolutely favorite, my sinking fund and then my saving challenges. Same dashboard, I got different type of dividers with the months for the challenges and just everything on here. So these are the two that I'm not changing out. I'm actually keeping these, but I will be changing out these two. So moving these to the side, these two are getting changed out. I'm actually not even keeping the envelopes that's in here. Like I, I went with a whole different type of aesthetic and I'm so excited about it. So here I have some Louis Vuitton, um, mm which is the a6 agendas i have some keychains i finally have me a bank baggie that i got as well i got some new envelopes and new trackers from different businesses on etsy so yes let's go ahead and get into like this unboxing and setting up my cash envelopes and you guys are going to be so uh, when that's <clears throat> you guys have no idea so first and foremost let's move this out the way I want to shout out So Crafty Sana because I got this idea from her. I got this idea from her. Let me tell you guys, they do not sell this. Um, this wallet is discontinued on the Louis Vuitton website. They don't have this print anymore. And I searched high and low, found it on the Facebook group, was actually able to get two of these from some, from some seller. I, I'm so excited. So you guys, I actually... I'm so excited, you guys, because I've been holding out on this. I have not used this. I wanted to make this video first so I can use it. And the time is now. What, what day is it? It is October 4th. This video should probably be posted October 6th, hopefully. But the time is now, you guys. I purchased, I have two of these. It's one right here and it's one unopened. But let me show you why. I was following my girl uh, step, for, step for step. I was doing everything that she um, that she did because I wanted to make sure that I got this right, okay? So let's go ahead and put this over here. So this is the Louis Vuitton Zippy XL, um, Zippy XL Organizer. I believe that's the name of it. Don't let me lie to you. But because I'm so excited, I can't even remember right now. But when I say you guys, I was searching high and low for this. I was searching high and low for this. Please make sure you guys subscribe to So Crafty Sana YouTube. Like she had the whole, I don't even know how I ended up finding this. Um, I think I found this by watching one of Rochelle videos and I seen it and I'm like, I have to have it. Where is it? I'm on Google trying to find it. I'm like, okay, it doesn't exist. Then I went ahead and found on YouTube and I Oh my God, you guys, I'm so excited. Okay, so this is a um, Louis Vuitton wallet. You can hold it like this. I don't know if you can see it. You guys can hold it like this. This is actually super, super thick in the inside and so, so crafty. So now I actually had a video on how to change this, how, you, how to change a wallet into a freaking binder. So let me show you guys. Please don't be mad at me because I defaced Louis Vuitton. Yes, I cut the inside of my wallet. But you guys, look at that. Look at that. So what she actually shows you in the video is how to add binders in here to make it a cash envelope. So give me one second while I get the binder. This is the wallet. This is the binder. This is the binder. This is going to be my everyday Binder, so I'm switching from this. I'm switching from this to this. This is going to, I don't think I'm ever gonna change this out. This is going to be way more functional than this one. Like, if I show you the inside of this one, you know, you have the cards over here. I have to hide the cards when I'm doing my cash stuffing. Um, having to open this all up in public and stuff, and you can see my cards, and I can't really be discreet. Like, I actually have, it's, uh, it's just like an envelope, but it's a card holder. So I actually have cards that go right here, but you know, due to me filming, I take them out because I don't need no one trying to steal my information. So, you have this, you actually have, hold on, I really wanna make sure you guys can get up in here and see this. So look at all these card holders that I have right here. I have a space for something right here, right? 
have a space right here. I have a space right here. Then I'm gonna have my cash envelopes in here. I have a change area, which I don't think I'm gonna use because I actually have a coin pouch that I wanna show you guys. And then you also have more cards right here in here so when i'm doing my cat stuffing when i'm doing my unstuffing and stuff my cards will be sealed and it fits perfectly because she was explaining like how because this is not a regular zippy this is an xl that it fits like the the binder rings fit perfectly in here you guys i'm oh my goodness oh jesus okay calm down take a chill pill take a chill pill i'm so excited because i have not opened this since i like you know did it um i can probably insert a picture i'll insert a picture right here of what it looks like before i had to cut out i actually really didn't cut out i just cut down the middle so i can open it up because if you know like a lot of the um xl i mean a lot of the zippy wallets open up just like this or like this they don't open up that wide and so since i cut down the middle i actually cut down the middle and i just cut off these little hinges i'm able to open this up all the way I'm able to get like all of my use out of this and I can take this off and put it back in there and it's sturdy oh, I'm so excited about this so let's go ahead and which way do I want to do it let's see because the LV faces this way which way do I want to do it let's do it hmm let's do it this way so I want to get into some of the envelopes that I purchased. I came across this Etsy seller. Um, actually followed her on Instagram. I seen, you know, like how you seen people, like it's not a for you page, but how you see people pop up on your explore page. I went ahead and came across caffeine and budgets. You guys, and as soon as I seen these envelopes, it was giving. It was giving. And I prefer these envelopes as well because, you know, these are going in here. It's not going to be holding a lot of money, so I don't have to worry about them ripping. And I just thought they were absolutely cute. So I got tons of envelopes. I got some for my bill binder, which are these colors. And then I got some for my cash, um, my regular everyday cash envelope binder. So I want you guys to get into this detail because she did an amazing job. So I have groceries spending fun let's order out beauty and self-care miscellaneous i have a few more i want to make sure that these are in order when i put them in i have a few more um on the way but these are just like my main ones right now and let's go ahead and put them in here and then later on i will actually fill up my whole wallet with my cards and everything i just oh my goodness i'm just oh jesus look at that oh putting in my grocery spending fun let's order out beauty and self-care and my miscellaneous like look at you <laughs> look at that that is so cute that is that is the cutest that is the freaking cutest wow Oh my goodness. And you know what? Look, you guys, it fits perfectly. Not an envelope damaged. And what I love about this the most is I don't have to carry a bag if I don't want to. Like if I don't want to carry a purse, this is all I want to carry. I can most certainly just carry this like this. So this is my everyday cash binder that I was so happy to carry around this oh I'm so happy that I came across her channel and like the feedback I was literally sending her videos like oh my god am I doing it right am I doing it right I was so scared I was scared to the point that I got a second one just in case I messed this one up but you know what I might do a giveaway with the second one might sell the second one or might just hold on to it just in case I just want to use it like a regular binder but I'm so so I'm happy about this one. Yes, I am. I'm very happy about this one. So this is going to be my um, everyday cash binder. Let's sit this one to the side and let's get on to the bill binder. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into my bill binder. I've already opened these up. So none of these have like the plastic or anything on them. I've already opened them up, like smelled them and stuff. And this is going to be my A6 bill binder. It's just a regular print. Go ahead and just put this box over to the side and yes this is going to oh, just sit that right there 
This is my um, A6. This is gonna be my bill binder. So I will take all of this extra stuff out of here. I don't need the planner. It's gonna actually go in the trash. But yes, we are moving from this to this. And I actually have more envelopes on the way for my bill binder, but these are my bill binder envelopes. Look at the colors. I think these are so cute. I have rent, utilities, internet, Verizon, insurance, and of course, saving for my one month ahead fund. So we have rent, utilities, internet, Verizon, insurance, and one month ahead. Changed the name to some of them just to, to make them more general. Like I had a car insurance and a life insurance binder and I was just like, why not make, um, why not make just a simple insurance binder? It'll, it'll make everything better. So actually I need to go ahead and take out some of the cash that I already had in here so that when I do my cash stuffing, which is um, gonna be my next video, when I do my cash stuffing video, I will be able to unstuff this money and actually add it to my one month ahead fund. Oh my goodness, you guys, these envelopes are everything. They're everything. I'm, oh my goodness, it looks so nice. This looks so nice. I wish I had like tons of more categories so I can order more from her. But okay, that's utilities. I have some, hold on, let's move this up here. That's utilities. And then I'm gonna unstuff real quick the internet, whatever I had left in internet, which should be behind here. And then I think it's also like an ASMR thing with me. I love the sound of these when people are stuffing these. I like the way it sounds and that definitely has to be an ASMR thing. I don't have any in Verizon, don't have any in car insurance, but safety net, AKA my one month ahead. Because if you guys don't know, I'm already one month ahead. And so I'm saving to become two months ahead. So we'll put this in my one month ahead. And then when I do my cash stuffing video, all the, all the cash that I just stuffed in here will actually roll over to my one month ahead fund. Put that in there and then I'm gonna keep this um, tracker in here that I'm so excited about, bam. And that is going to be my beautiful bill binder. Sit this off to the side. Don't know if I should, I'm, I should probably do a giveaway. Like if somebody wants these, I probably should do a giveaway and like not throw, um, at least not throw this one away because I know my personal binder is tailored to me, but this bill binder, you know, car insurance, internet, rent, utilities, um, even if you don't have Verizon, but you know, this is all general. So let me know if I should do a giveaway because I don't mind. I don't mind. I'll actually do a giveaway. I don't mind. Okay, so I have these envelopes that I got from an Etsy seller. And the, um, the business is SM Home and More. SM Home and More. Her name is Stephanie Mendoza. So Stephanie Mendoza Home and More, and she gave me a scrunchie, absolutely beautiful. So I am actually adding to the bunch two sinking fund envelopes. I'm adding, well, actually I'm adding three sinking fund binders. I'm sorry, not envelopes. I'm adding three sinking fund binders. I am missing some envelopes, but I really wanted to do this video so I can cash stuff. Um, so I have, which one is this? I have a sinking fund for myself. I have a sinking fund for just like overall home, me, family, friends. And then I'm gonna have a sinking fund strictly for my son. So let's get into setting up the sinking fund binder for myself. I'll move this over and we'll do that one next. So the sinking fund for myself is actually coming out of this uniform. And this actually matches my, um, this matches my passport envelope. This actually matches my passport, um, my passport holder, passport cover. 
and so that's initially why i got it and i thought because it was girly it'll be a cute like sinking fun um binder for myself so yes this is what we have let's go ahead and take this out again love 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 the hollywood theme love is this coming out okay there we go love the hollywood theme so i got these from sm home and more and these are the new um sinking fund categories that i have for myself so i do have a sinking fund binder but that's generally like birthday breast reduction dirty 30 um emergency fund and for my son i don't really have anything like for myself so these are the categories that i have so i have self-care we have a self-care envelope that i'm so happy to stuff for so i do have beauty and self-care um i do have beauty and self-care in my cash envelope and i think i'm just gonna like roll that over to a sinking fund at the um whenever i like stuff my variable expenses i'll just roll over whatever is in beauty and self-care i'll roll it over into here because maybe i want to do some other stuff so i have fitness i will be getting a fitness trainer because as you guys know one of my large sinking funds is um for my dirty 30 which just passed but i'm celebrating my 30th birthday um in jamaica period i'm doing that next year so need i'm gonna need a trainer to get me back in shape and i also think um having a trainer will like severely work on like will severely um enhance and help with my mental health you know getting out getting active that's gonna be a good thing for me i have clothing because i really don't have a clothing i don't have a clothing sinking fund i don't have a clothing sinking fund i don't really buy clothes like that i'm a sweater type girl like sweater sweats leggings but i think that's because of um if you are a mom if you and you you know you understand i think that's because of postpartum depression i don't feel like myself anymore don't don't feel like myself don't look like myself don't don't like how i look so i'm gonna get a fitness trainer and then i'm gonna be able to purchase new clothes and fit in new clothes and regain who i was and who I'm destined to be. All right, on to the next investments. Um, I'm realizing that I need to save for investments. So I see a lot of, um, I learned a lot from other budgeters about like Roth IRAs and investments and stuff like that. And I really wanna get into that. Like, you know, saving a little bit each month towards a small investment, um, whether it's like a, an IRA, whether you do like some type of certificate um, with whatever bank you have, you know, let it sit for a couple years, let it gain some interest, you know, whether it's a couple hundred dollars, anything counts. I have a tech envelope because I do want, I do want um, the new Mac. I want the new Mac. I have a um, iMac as well, but I want a new one. I have luxury goods because your girl deserve luxury and luxury is whatever you see fit so whether it's perfume whether it's designer whether it's whatever whatever is luxury to you that's what that is going for then i have bwb budget with bay um not sure if i want to turn this into a business but if i do i would love to have a sinking fund for it so i can start somewhere you know save up for some money for an etsy shop or some materials and then i have debt payoff because i want to be able to pay off my car in like like a big bulk amount so right now i'm um paying 500 each month that's not my minimum payment my minimum payment is way less but i'm still overstuffing but i want to get to a point where say for instance i have like two thousand dollars remaining and instead of stuffing five hundred dollars each month i have already saved up two thousand dollars in here and i can just boom pay it off like that so that's what i have for the last envelope for my self-care uh, my personal sinking fund binder so we have self-care fitness clothing, investments, tech, luxury goods, budget with pay, and debt payoff. That's what I have for myself. This is apps. This is so beautiful. This is so, so beautiful. So excited about this. Now, 
welcome to my general sinking fund. This is just like, you know, gonna be like a general sinking fund um, binder. I really loved it because it already says sinking fund. No need to get a new binder if I already have one. And then plus, I think this is absolutely cute and pretty. And it's something about these type that seem to hold more cash than um, the non-flexible ones. So let's go ahead and get into it. I have health. I noticed that I like, yes, of course I have insurance. I have insurance. I'm um, fully covered. N never any need to like pay any co-payments or anything, thank God. But you never know. We literally just got out of a pandemic. They said, I feel like we're still in a pandemic. But you know, hey, to each his own. But I have Black Bonnie. Black Bonnie is my car. So I know on my last binder I have debt payoff, but Black Bonnie is my car. So this one is um anything that in regards to Black Bonnie. So registration, you know, tags, license plates, um, anything that I might need. I might need to get my car detailed because I do have a toddler. You guys know how that goes. Then I have home maintenance, anything that I might need to get fixed on my home, anything that I might want to buy for my home. I do want to um, hire a cleaner. I want to get my house clean, you know, get it ready for like the holidays, even though no one's going to be here. But I would like to get my house cleaned as that's that's like a form of self-care. <laughs> that's a form of self-care of mine. Get my house clean, get my carpet cleaned and everything. I have holidays. Cause I don't have any holiday, um, I don't have any holiday thingies, and I'm a real festive person. I really love the holidays. Christmas, obviously, is my favorite holiday. That love in the air, it, ugh, ugh, it's euphoric. And then I have helped somebody. So recently, I have been noticing um, a lot of people may have been having someone pass away. I have had two people in my family pass away within the past two months. And, you know, sometimes people do GoFundMes or sometimes I may see someone on the street or something like that. And I want to be able to pull from this and and help people, even if it's someone that I don't know. You know, you're, you're on TikTok, you're on Instagram, you hear someone's story, people just trying to make it and stuff like that. And I want to be able to save in order to help somebody. My Prime subscription, um, I know it's like a hundred and something dollars. Never really saved for that. Probably should start saving <laughs> start saving for that because that is literally my highest subscription my prime subscription costs way more than my car registration like my car registration is only about like 80 dollars i don't know where y'all be at when i be watching y'all's cash stuff and videos and y'all be saving for y'all car registrations and y'all be in like 200s and 300s i baby i could never i could never and i got a new car i could never but yes we have our prime subscription and then i have friends and family you know this will go for like um Friends and family, like, you know, birthdays, just because, you know, people having babies or the kids have birthdays and I want to buy something off Amazon for them. That's what that is. And then I have a Black Friday, Cyber Monday. I have a Black Friday, Cyber Monday um, envelope because I'm going to be saving towards next year, Black Friday, Cyber Monday. I don't have anything that I really need. My son is still a toddler, so it's not like there's any need for me to go in a store and defend his honor and fight to the death for some toys at the moment. So I'll be saving for next year's Black Friday, Cyber Monday. So we have Black Friday, Cyber Monday, friends and family, prime subscription, help somebody, holidays, home maintenance, Black Bonnie, and health. That's what I have for my overall general um, sinking fund. And then I will be adding these um, lovely I actually ordered some more of these, but I actually got these, got them laminated, and I will be adding these to some of my sinking fun binders so I can keep track of everything. These are so cute. I asked her, out. I know she was probably stressed out with my order. I'm like, okay, can you, can you, can you laminate them? Then she did it. Then she like added the laminate, um, laminate option. And I was like, but can you add them like lemonade and hole punch? I would like to have a bit by binder. But I'm so happy that she actually went the extra mile and did that for me. And so, yes, I have some of these. Sit those over to the side because I will add those later. And then I got my bank bag, y'all. I got my bank bag. I'm so excited. I got my bank bag. Boom. 
this is my bank baggie i told you guys that i'm becoming a monogram type of girl like i'm becoming a monogram type of girl um the, the simplicity at its finest with this cute hint of pink that actually matches my cash binder it, it's giving it's you see the details get into the details and so yes this is going to be my um cash binder so beautiful it's so pretty go to the bank not cash finder side it's gonna be my bank baggie my little bank baggie it's so cute so yes i have this as my bank baggie and then i want to show you guys um another binder this no which one needs this binder remember i said i had i was adding three binders yes this binder i'm adding this is actually gonna be my son's my son his envelopes are on the way so let me go ahead and open this up isn't this adorable this is so adorable my childhood it's my childhood it's tom and jerry so let me open it so you can see it it's Tom and Jerry. Isn't that so cute? And this is gonna be my son's. This is my son's sinking fun binder, A6, of course. Isn't this so cute? So when his envelopes come, I will set them up. This is for my baby. I thought that would be so cute to have, um, to have for him the Tom and Jerry, you know, like the boy theme. And he has his. And then I and then I have mine. I always have to include my son include my son and everything okay so yes that's what i have for these and so what i do want to do um these four little boxes you guys are keychains these are keychains you guys these are keychains let me show you guys oh look at that look at that and it's heavy look it's clinky too it's heavy and clinky look at that isn't that beautiful like that color yes this is the keychain so we're gonna just sit this one i'll sit this one in here move this off to the side sorry if it's messy i have another keychain just a simple um simple regular lv keychain isn't that cute Put that one in there as well i have another keychain which is also an lb keychain and i think this is cute as well because you know on my other binders i had my crystals on there so i'm like i still need to keep up the theme of having charms on all of my um binders and i bought four charms and hopefully these four is enough they actually might be more than enough because i'm not carrying one of these on my cash um, envelope binder no need to and then i have one more charm this cute nice nice chocolatey one so i have this cute chocolate one it's like chocolate and black and then i have this LV one. I have this cute, like, um, cream nude pink one. And then I have another regular one. I might put one of these on my purse. But I do know for a fact that for my personal binder, this one, I want to put this one on there. So. Go ahead and add this. I think I might need to add it the other way though. Ah, that is so cute. That's absolutely adorable. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, so that's that one. Um, My bill binder. Hmm. Uh, I'll go ahead and put 
this circle one on my bill binder. So my bill binder has this cute one. Okay. And then I have my son's binder and then I have one more left. I might actually put this on my purse I don't have enough. Oh, I can put this on my, I can put this on my GM. I can put this on my GM agenda. Perfect. I'll put this on my GM agenda. So my son binder is actually going to just get this one. I can't wait till his cash envelopes come. They should be arriving this week. And so, yes, this one is for a baby boy. And then I'll add this one to my um, GM agenda, which is going to be my planner put that one back in the box okay and last but not least you guys know that i was carrying like my coins and like the actual a6 envelope well i was able to find me a coin purse isn't it cute isn't it cute it's so cute it's so cute so i'm gonna actually attach this to my purse i have a lv purse monogram fits the whole aesthetic and this is what i'm gonna hold my coins in yay i'm so excited this this makes me so happy all of this makes me so happy so we have my new um my new daily cash finder i have my cute little like you know bank baggy I have my son's sinking fund. Move this out the way. I have my son's sinking fund binder. I have my bill binder. Got a plain one for my bills because guess what? Ain't nothing exciting about bills. <laughs> nothing is exciting about bills. But on the other hand, sinking funds are very much exciting. And then I got this one for myself my personal one for myself i'm so excited about and then i have my overall um sinking fund binder you guys will understand i really can't wait to cash stuff i've been holding on to this stuff for so long i'm so excited to cash stuff like all of this this makes me this i'm, I'm excited i'm so excited to cash stuff there we go. I'm so excited to cash stuff all of these binders. They're absolutely adorable. Fits the aesthetic. And this is just me. This is not to make anyone feel any type of way about their binders. This is just something that I wanted to do. Everyone has their own thing. Everyone has their own aesthetic. And I'm I'm loving, I'm loving this. And of course, you guys know. I am keeping my two saving challenges and sinking funds. So your girl currently has one, two, three, four, five, six, six binders, a cash envelope, a bank baggie, and a coin purse. So yes, you know, I have some low priority, high priority binders, which is giving like those, the A5s are like high priorities. These are kind of low priorities. Bills are gonna always be high priorities. If I don't pay the bill, where am I gonna live? but yes you guys that is what i have for this video i really do hope you guys like my binders please i would love 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 some feedback on everything and yes please make sure you guys like comment and subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up follow me on all of my social media platforms and in the meantime and in between time i'll see you guys in the next video bye